G'day everyone, my name is John McLeish and this is my video reflection for my latest assignment for digital video and audio, is it digital audio and video? I can never remember the name of the subject, doesn't matter. Anyway, what I'm here to talk about is VG Relay, the uh, three minute news package or just on a three minute news package that I put together for this assignment and some of the things I went through in order to put it together. So probably the biggest challenge number one was securing a place to film the whole thing. The original plan was to film inside a television studio. We have one on campus at Swinburne in uh, BA203, I believe is the name of the room. Um, what I wasn't expecting, though, was uh, how difficult it would be to book the room. Now, uh, I'm with uh, 3SSR TV, and generally it's not an issue. But because it's coming up to the end of the year, uh, master's level students take priority in terms of booking over first year students, which is where I am. And so, therefore, I wasn't able to get the room. Now, that actually turned out to be a good thing because the room I ended up filming in for it was uh, just above, oh, not just above, the second floor of the SR building. So up there, there's two rooms and the second room along, which I believe used to be a dance studio or something, or part of a dance studio uh, or a gym, I can't remember. Um, has this really awesome graffiti on the side of the wall. It's like really beautifully done, this mural. And I ended up filming in front of that, and it looks really, really good. I like the red um, that just sort of streaks through it sometimes. And, and that really works with the color scheme for what I've put together for VG Relay, which is a predominantly red color scheme. So it ended up looking better than if I filmed it in a studio. So I think I got lucky in that regard. The second problem I came into uh, was using Adobe Audition. So that's for audio editing. Predominantly what I usually use is Adobe Sound Booth. And that's just because that's what I used to use in my old job. Um, and then moving from that to Audition, while there's not, it's not a humongous leap because it is a different program, um, different buttons that you generally take for granted for being in a certain spot are in different spots. And it just, it, it, it makes the whole process a lot more time consuming because I'm having to learn how to use a new program at the same time, uh, at the same time as doing general video editing and audio editing, which is a complete pain in the butt. But I managed to get through it. I think it sounds really good. Um, maybe if I had some more time, I could probably fix it up a little bit more. I don't know. I, I think I think it came out pretty good though, so I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, let's see. What are the th what are the things? Well, I mean why I chose this idea. So I chose the idea. It's something I've had in my head now for a few years, something I've always wanted to do. And this assignment provided a really great platform for me to test out that idea. Um, it took, it took three weeks to put together, but that's because this is sort of a pilot. I had to put together a lot of graphics and templates and stuff. But the idea being that in the future, this would be a really, really quick process. Um,